Welcome back. Do remember, all our top stories can be found on our website, channelstv.com, and on youtube.com forward slash channelsweb. Do visit m.channelstv.com to see us live on your mobile device. You can also download the Channels TV app for Android, iOS, and Windows phones from their respective stores. And besides the news and updates, the Channels TV app has an eyewitness feature. We'd like you to use it to share those pictures, videos, or news around you. Just install it, tap, swipe to reveal the eyewitness menu, and follow the instructions. And now to the southwestern region of the country where Governor of Ekiti State, Ayodele Fayoshe, has set up a five-man committee to look into some key issues affecting the welfare of teachers. Speaking during an interactive session with them in the state's public primary and secondary schools at the government house in Adoikiti, the capital, the governor said his administration remains committed to uplifting the welfare of teachers in spite of the daunting economic challenges. These are not the best times for teachers in Ikita State Public Schools, and the mood here says it all. This is why the state governor, Ayodele Fayoshe, has invited the teachers to discuss issues affecting their welfare. I want to invite. The governor got a taste of what is to come when the teachers unanimously rejected an offer to allow the chairman of the State Union of Teachers speak on their behalf. At the end, the teachers got their wish, and they wasted no time enumerating their challenges. The teachers also used the occasion to make some requests. Some of our classrooms are still bad shape. So we still want to appeal to the SLSC to take note of that and do some donation work in our schools. Responding, the state governor, Ayodele Fayashi, says his administration remains committed to the welfare of the teachers. We will meet stakeholders at the jack level to see how these things can be defrayed gradually every month. You can't solve all these problems altogether because you don't have the resources to do so. So what we have simply tried to do is to make sure that there's a communication. It is hoped that the issues here will be promptly addressed as this will go a long way to enhancing teachers' confidence as well as discouraging them from engaging in unwholesome activities. To the northwest, where the Kaduna state government says its monthly internally generated revenue has risen from 700 million naira to 1.628 billion starting from June this year. Speaking at a sensitization workshop organized by the Kaduna State Investment Promotion Agency, Kadipa, for the state ministries, departments and agencies, the state governor, Nasser El Rifai, says his administration is working hard to diversify its sources of revenue and depend less on federal allocation. Have higher tax revenues. We will all benefit. You will all get higher salaries. Last month, June, the Kaduna Internal Revenue Service collected the highest amount recorded in Kaduna State history. If we continue to increase this every month, if we achieve our target of generating five billion a month from taxes, then we don't need to go to federation account. We cannot do that unless we get these businesses here. The reason why Lagos State's budget, 80% of their budget is IGI, is because they have businesses there. They didn't work for it. They inherited. They were lucky to be a, a port, a port, a port. Uh, nation's capital for many years. So they have. But we have to work extra hard to move them out of Lagos <coughs> to here. But by the time we have all these industries, by the time we succeed in reviving the textile industries, honestly, we will not need to be going to federation account. Mr. Malam Nasser El Rufai, Governor of Kaduna State. To the South South, the Bielsa State Government has been speaking on the actual figure it received from the federal government last month. The Deputy Governor of the State at a briefing in Yenagoa, the state capital, says. It received the sum of three billion five hundred and two million eight hundred and twenty-two thousand last month. 
as against rumors making the rounds that the state government received the sum of 19 billion naira from the federal government. We are also a state where most of the oil wells are already in crisis and where your strength is on derivation. Once you go on statutory allocation, statutory allocation, Bielsa has the minimum in both the state government and to the state. The next that came from Abuja amounted to 4 billion. This is the 19 billion that we are hearing, that 19 billion came here. 4 billion, 927 million, 380,738 naira, 92 copper. Then there's also the debt servicing that we do locally. When you do that, and that one came to 1.4, because in most cases you must take money, you must have this quick arrangement with banks to fill up a few, a few gaps for things to move. Uh, for this July, we have about 1.4 billion. So the money available to spend, and that is very important. The money that we're available to spend as a government is 3 billion, 502 million, 822,482,966. In the Northeast, as relative peace continues to prevail in the troubled Northeastern states after years of Boko Haram insurgency, authorities of the NYSC scheme say they are behind the rebuilding process towards enhancing peace in those states. The Yobe state coordinator of the scheme, Mr. Abubakar Mohammed, says they are ready to supply the state with the required manpower that will help accelerate development after the reign of terror by the extremist group Boko Haram. He also assures the core members of security of their lives and their property as they serve their fatherland. Some of the things they are hearing about uh, these northeast states, some of them are not really. That there are core members here from southern part of this country, and they too can come and answer. And I want to assure them that peace, relative peace, is returning to the state. And we are always, we will always work hand in hand with um, the security agencies who always assure us. Even before we came uh, to, before this core member reported, we have, we have made contact with our stakeholders that we are expecting core members. To Damatu and other places. So I, I want to say it, it's, it's an opportunity for them to come and serve, and they should come to where they are needed. You know, most of these common members always want to go to either Lagos or Abuja. Go to Abuja now and see common members other places of common assignment. They may stay, spend two or three months looking for just a place to serve, not even where they choose, where they want to go. And even getting a place to be accepted, and then think of the accommodation, transport problem, and others. Yet everyone you ask is Abuja. When they go there, they are not. Needed. So my advice is let them come to where they are needed, so that and then the states too need them. I also want to use the opportunity to call on core employers, no especially local governments. Let them make provision for accommodation. Also concerning security, but in Kwara State this time, the new commissioner of police in the state, Mr. Olushola Amore, has pledged to focus on community policing in order to ensure that criminals find it difficult to operate there. The new police boss urged his personnel to develop good relationships with the civilian population to bring criminality or crime to a barest minimum. Meanwhile, the state governor, Abdul Fattah Ahmed, promised to support the new man at the helm of affairs. The sun has stabilized the security system here. It's really going to form that platform for you to drive those community ideas you have said, which we have always sought for, and will give you resources to get to that level. Because community policing is very important. But first, you need to stabilize. We're happy Mr. Sam has taken us to stability. We'll be very happy to comply with you. It will require us bringing more people in government side to complement the current security support system. We'll do that because security is very crucial to the existence of people in any society to allow for growth and development. <laughs> So 
So we are all need to God for this community. Need to, I call it need to, you are not God, need to, because God created you in his own image and you are to carry out that his work. You're watching News Across Nigeria. Speaking earlier there, Governor of Kwara State, Mr. Abdul Fattah Ahmed. Coming up, a tragedy in Imo State allegedly involving erosion leaves a teenager dead. Please stay with us.